Hi everyone, it's me Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm working on the blue and teal um, burlap wreath to match the blue and teal burlap tree that I'm also going to be working on. Um, so I decided, well I was going ahead with these, so I said while I do my second layer I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing. So I have 21 inch royal blue deco mesh and I've cut it into roughly six and a half six inch strips um and i'm just like kind of rolling it i don't know if you can see here yeah i'm just rolling it and i'm taking the end I'm cutting it, not cutting it, but tucking it in there. Then I'm going to create a little poof. Not really measuring the poof. I'm tucking it in. Like that. And then I'm going to bring this poof back up here. And that's just going to finish the first layer. is a little small so just come here and open this bring it over just a bit there okay so now for the second layer I'm gonna go over the turquoise with the blue and the blue with the tur with not turquoise the teal kind of like an ombre teal deco mesh but I'll show you that once I finish this so come over here to this tie and open it This one. Just lay it in there. Sorry for the traffic noise. And now bring it back around up here. Open the chenille tent stem. Lay the mesh. Close the Chanel stem back. So there. That's like that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you. This is the floral mesh. It's an ombre mesh. Um, and it says Aqua to Blue Fade, which I think in there somewhere is teal, which is like here. But there's all different shades of teal, I think. So that's what I'm using. So then, here's where the blue is. I'll get a teal one. And I'll roll it. And I open this. Lay that down. And close it. So then you even get these little golds, which are cute. Um, so then bring it down here. So I'm just crisscrossing. I'm going top, top, bottom, top. There we 
go. And now this one comes back to the top. And just pinch it. Open this Chanel stem. Lay it in there. And close it. So I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. Um, and then uh, once I'm done that, I'll probably go ahead with some ribbon and I'll come back and show you that. Um, I guess I don't know how long it's going to take to do all this. Um, I don't want to have the video go too long. So here now is where I'll go and add some more glue. So I just open this, lay that down, and close it up. And then come down here. Lay that loop down and close it. Then bring it over here. Open this one and lay it down there. Now I've got a teal. Open that. Lay that down. Bring it on down here. And bring it on up here. Okay. Here's the blue. Just the last one I have cut. Need more, I can cut more, but I don't think I need any more. Okay, so open this, lay that down. Bring it on up over here. Lay it down. Close it up. Okay. So I'm liking how that's looking. I think it's very cute. So now to the tail. Over here, lay that in there, 
and close it up. <clears throat> Bring it down here. Open up. What I'm trying to do is keep the cut edges on the inside. I mean, I haven't been paying that much attention, but I just don't want it to be all out. Okay. And my last heel will go there. Open this back up. Lay that down. Come down here. Open that. Lay that down. This one up. Open that. Lay that down. And close it up. So there it is. And this is a wiry frame. It's 14 inches long. Uh, I believe. Yep, 14 inches. And with this is about 22. So it's not that big. It's not that small either. So that's round one. Um, I'm going to come back and do a next video, and I'm going to go ahead and add the ribbon. So, I hope you like this video. Sorry for the glare. I hope you can see it. So, if you like this video, if you like this brief, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I want to say until next time, bye for now.